you want to repeat this process over and over and over. But what you really want to do is you want to go as fast as you can without a capacitor for the simple fact is you want to put a lot of this radiant energy to the source. This idea just came to me. It's based off the Bedini flyback captures idea. So battery A is your source power. Battery B is your load. So is this coil. Together they're in series to negative. You switch it here with a transistor, read or a hall switch. Whatever, this could be a damaged battery. As long as it has some continuity, that coil will charge up with that amount of continuity. And once it's disconnected from the circuit, the coil will fly back. And this will become a positive instead of a negative. And it will smack the C battery here. So as this battery loses impedance and gains continuity, this coil will receive more energy. And so will battery C. I personally think the U So and this is the same circuit here. And I drew it out again. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain it this way with the editor. Green, I guess. Well, let's do red. So what happens here is the switch closes. And then the, a, when the switch closes, the positive from the battery here will head this way. And let me make sure I got this job right. Correct. Okay. Now it'll head this way. And the 12 volts will hit here, right? It will also hit here. But it won't do anything there. Because this negative here, once the switch closes, is, is appearing over here. So this positive will go through the diode and try to meet the negative through whatever impedance the battery has if the battery is not super high impedance you know mind you this can be 12 volts this can be 6 volts doesn't matter. You probably want to make this battery like 24 volts and this one a lower voltage. That way the positive 24 volts can get pushed through the 12 volt battery to meet its negative when you close the switch. And by traveling that way through the coil, sending 24, 24 volt through a 12 volt battery, and the, through a coil, and then the 12 volt battery, and the diode, it will try to meet its negative this way, you know, at when the switch closes. The, there will be a path for. 
the energy to connect from positive to negative through the coil and through the battery. The other battery, when you close the switch, the positive goes through the coil. Down this way also. And it's trying to look for its, the, its negative, but it's not going to find it this way because it doesn't connect to the negative, it connects back to its positive. So it does absolutely nothing in that direction. It's, it's looking for this negative. This positive is looking for this negative, and it's looking for it through the coil. It might try to look for it through here if it was connected, but it's not. It's just doing a loop around the coil. I don't know what to think of that, but the whole idea behind this thing here is to use this battery's impedance. Let's say you put a battery here that's slightly damaged. You want to bring it back. You use the impedance of that battery and add it to this coil impedance when you energize the system by closing the switch and then when the switch closes the whatever voltage you put here might be needed might need to be a higher voltage it will go through this coil and through the battery to meet the negative on the other end and then the switch will open up again and this coil will invert polarity and you will have instead of a plus here and a minus here on the coil you will now have a minus here and a plus here going up on the coil as flyback high voltage flyback and then that flyback path I will show here is coming out the coil let's say the coil is flying back in green now the positive flyback will go into this battery and the negative flyback will go into this battery and, and then the positive flyback up here will go not only into this battery but it will also go into the other battery but uh, when the positive flyback hits this battery it's not really doing anything because the negative flyback is not touching here but the negative flyback is touching here so pretty much the bottom battery gets the flyback all by itself. And what happens in the process of energizing the coil before the flyback happens is you send energy through the battery, kind of like the force charge system from Benini. You send energy through the coil through the battery back to its negative in order to charge the coil. So the impedance of this battery is added to the impedance of this coil in the charge cycle. And when you do that, you send energy through the battery also. Therefore, you're kind of force charging the battery in the process of charging the coil at the same time. And then when you disconnect that charge and the switch opens up, the flyback happens again. You know, the, this becomes a negative now, this becomes a positive. Positive flows, flybacks doesn't, sorry, it doesn't go there. The positive flyback goes this way into this battery. Negative flyback goes this way into the battery. Now the reason I have this diode here, even though it's a high voltage diode, I'm not sure why I have it there. It might not be necessary, but I think I put it there because I thought I was going to block this positive from hitting this negative on the battery. I don't think it matters that you need, I don't think you need this diode here. I don't think it matters that the positive from this battery ends up touching this negative so long as the negative from this battery doesn't touch this positive. And 
I think when this switch closes, this negative here touches this negative. And in order for it to get to this positive, it has to go through the battery's positive terminal to get there. So there might be some leakage or whatever. And, you know, that might cause some some level of shorting. So I don't know. It's an experiment. You see here is an experiment. That's why that experiment. You're welcome to modify this any way you want. Try it without the diode. See if it performs differently. But yeah, I just thought I'd like like to explain that this this uh, this system here.